What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 10 extended support enroll button is not showing on your system. If you are on Windows 10 and you want to extend support for it for one more year for free, then you can do. But if your enroll button is not showing like you can see right here, then you're not going to be able to enroll in the free uh, one year support that Microsoft are offering for Windows 10. And if you do an update here, uh, you may find there is some updates that need to be done. It's important that you have all of the latest updates for Windows 10 installed on the system uh, to be able to enroll properly. Now, another thing I want to mention is you are running out of time. You've literally got less than a week before the end of support for Windows 10 is here. And that's going to mean that basically you're not going to receive any updates like this that are coming down onto your PC anymore. Microsoft will cease support for that system. So it's important that you have get the latest updates as soon as they're available and get all of the updates you can now installed on the system. And then, of course, you would need to enroll to extend for one more year that Microsoft are offering for free. And I'll show you how to do it in this video. Now, hopefully a majority of people have already received the enroll button on how to enroll into the free uh, Windows 10 Extended Security Updates program, the ESU for short uh, program that Microsoft are offering. If you're one of the very few that aren't able to enroll because you haven't been offered it yet, then this video should help you out and be able to enroll your system and get it enrolled so you'll be able to continue to use it safely in 2026. So let's have a look here at the system. We've got all of the updates that we want to do. We still don't have the enroll button on here and uh, by now you should have it. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll finish this off and I'll show you how you can enable this feature with a couple of simple registry uh, tweaks that you need to do on the system. So now our system is fully updated, we should be back at the desktop. And what we're gonna do is type regedit inside the search box right here and open up the registry editor. Say yes to the user account control here. And what we're gonna do is Inside here, we're going to make a couple of registry edits, and this is going to force the system to think that you're enrolled or you want to enroll, and it will then give you the option. So what we need to do here is we need to go to HKEY uh, current user. That is the path along the bottom there that you need to go to. So click on this one right here, open this up, and then go into where it says software. Open that one up right there, and then go to Microsoft. And then from Microsoft, we need to go to uh, Windows NT. So let's come down a bit more here. So Windows NT should be down the bottom here somewhere. And when we go there, open that up there, go to current version. And then once we open current version up, we're going to need to look inside uh, Windows uh, directory. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So if we scroll down from, say, current version, you should have one called Windows right here and inside here we're looking for a key inside here called consumer ESU inside your Windows directory right here if you look down you should see a folder called ESU and if you don't see it then we're going to need to create one so right click go new key and then call this consumer ESU and once we've done that like so inside the consumer ESU make sure you clicked on it on the right hand pane here, we need to add a couple of more keys. These are going to be D Word 32 bit value keys that we need to add to the system. So, right click, go D Word 32 bit value, and we're going to call this one ESU eligibility, just like so. Once you've done this, we can now double click on this and change the value for this particular key. Now, what we need to do here is there's a bunch of different values that you can use, and I'll put them up on the screen right here. But basically, uh, you can set this to whatever you like here. I'm going to set this to two. I've seen some people set it to three, but we're going to set this to two right here. And next, we're going to go new, at D Word 32 bed value again, and then we're going to call this one ESU eligibility result. And that's what we need to call that, just as you see it there with the capital letters and stuff. Next, we're going to double click on this because we need to change the value of this particular one as well. And you can see that on the screen. I'm going to set this to value one. 
and what we'll do is click OK. And what we'll do then is that is consumer ESU key there inside your Windows directory. And there's the path. And we've added a couple of keys in there called ESU eligibility and ESU eligibility result. And we've changed the values of those. So once we've got this done, we're pretty much set here now. So what we're going to need to do is close off the registry editor and we'll need to restart our PC. So let's go ahead and restart. And now when we go into the settings panel right here and we go to Windows updates, you do more Windows updates after you've done that. And you should now see the Windows 10 support ends in October 2025. And it's important that you can now click on the enroll button. So enroll now. And it's going to go ahead and let you enroll. You will need a Microsoft account and you will need to have a internet connection to be able to enroll. It is free to enroll right here. So what we're going to do is read the information right there on the screen to continue to receive extended security updates uh, for one more year. And this will take us right into 2026. So click next. And this is where you're going to need to put in your Microsoft account details. If you don't have one, you need to create one. And you will need to sign in with this every 60 days to continue to receive the um, extended security updates for that year. So you can sign out afterwards and go back to a local account, but you're going to have to sign back in. So you might as well just literally stay signed in, in my honest opinion. So extend security updates, no extra cost. Add this device to it. So we're going to go ahead and add this device right here. And this will add this device to the extended program. So you can see here, this device now will get extended security updates through October 13th, 2026. And up the top right hand side, you should see your PC is enrolled. Get extended security updates there now. And from this point, uh, you can sign out uh, of the Microsoft account if you want to. Um, but unfortunately, you will need to go back into it again at some point. Otherwise, these security updates will just literally unroll and you will have to go through that process again. So in my personal opinion, you might as well stay signed in at this stage if you want to stay on Windows 10 because you may forget and you may miss um, updates that are eligible for your system. So who knows why Microsoft are doing that? Probably just to make you have a Microsoft account that stay signed in anyway. But if you do want to sign out, I'll quickly show you that right here. All you need to do here is go back into your settings, go into your account section right here. Let's find it. There we go, right there. And you should see right here, we can just stop signing into a Microsoft account. And straight away, you'll see that we are now into a local account. But like I said, you are going to have to sign back into that Microsoft account uh, within 60 days otherwise you will stop being enrolled in the extended security updates program so it's entirely up to you whether you stay signed in or you want to keep signing in and out it's up to you i don't see the point in it you might as well just stay signed in at this stage if you want to extend now there is an article on askwoodies.com and this is another way of going about doing it as well and there's some information about the esu eligibility values and you can see them set down there uh, down at the very bottom of the screen it tells you exactly the settings we chose uh, two and one so eligible and success some people have chose free which is device enrolled and they've also chosen uh, one for success and basically gone through this method of doing it it's entirely up to you how you go about doing it that's the way I did it there and we managed to get it enrolled but I'll leave all this information in the video description uh, as well for you anyway with that said i hope this one helps you out make sure you get this done if you haven't enrolled already you've only got less than a week now my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk and i shall catch you in the next video i'll see you on the discord server bye for now <music>